How to understand a minus b whole square? In this video, we are going to understand a minus b whole square by two different methods. In first method, we are going to take the help of geometrical visualization. And in the second method, we are going to take the help of another identity that is a plus b whole square, which means we are going to understand a minus b whole square in the light of a plus b whole square in the second method. So let's begin with the first method that is understanding a minus b whole square through geometrical visualization. I want you to visualize a line segment of length a something like this. Now I want you to visualize a projection of small length let's say b over a something like this. This black length is A and this white length is B. Now I want you to find me the length of the remaining portion which is being represented by a red line here, red line segment. Now what I can see this complete line segment is A and this is B so definitely the red length represents A minus B. Now I want you to visualize a square of side A by A something like this. And if I ask you what is the area of this square, you can say the area of square is side into side, that is A into A, that is A square. Now what I want you to do, I want you to project this horizontal red line on this vertical length and this verti horizontal white line on this vertical side, something like this. Now I want you to join this junction over here and this junction over here something like this which means you have broken the complete area of a square into these four regions now let's look into the first region now i'm going to call this region as you see the side is going to be a minus b and a minus b which is nothing but a square of dimension a minus b by a minus b if i ask you what is the area of this red region you're going to say it's going to be a minus b multiplied with a minus b that is a minus b whole square. Now if you look into the second region something like this portion this is a big rectangle whose one dimension is b and the other dimension is a so you can see this rectangle has dimension a by b so you can say this gray region represents nothing but an area of a b. Now I am left with this smaller green region which is nothing but a rectangle of dimension b by a minus b. To make it a complete b by a what I want you to do I want you to remove this square region of side b by b. So I want you to carve this b by b out. So what I did I removed this area and put it here b by b. What is the area of this square? That's going to be b square. So I just wrote a square equals a minus b whole square this complete a b minus b square plus this complete region because I have subtracted it. Now what is this complete green region going to be? It's going to be a rectangle of dimension a by b. So what's the area of this rectangle? It's going to be a b. So what how did I see the whole equation? I see that a square equals a minus b whole square plus a b minus b square because I removed this portion and then I added this area because this is complete ab. Now ab plus ab would make it 2ab so I have the equation that a square equals a minus b whole square plus 2ab minus b square. Now what I want you to do I want you to transpose 2ab to the left and minus b square to the left. When plus 2ab would be transported to the left, it would become minus 2ab. And minus b square when transported to the left would become plus b square. So what you can say that a square minus 2ab plus b square equals a minus b whole square. This was the visual understanding of a minus b whole square. Now we are going to move to the second method that is understanding a minus b whole square in the light of a plus b whole square. I am sure most of you must be knowing what exactly a plus b whole square is. Let me give you a quick visualization of what a plus b whole square is. Let's say you have two line segments black and white. 
The black represents length A and the white represents length B. Combining them together, you have got A plus B. I want you to build a square of side A plus B, something like this. And if I ask you what is the area of this square, you can say this is going to be A plus B into A plus B, which is A plus B whole square. Now I want you to join this junction with this and this junction with this, something like this. Now this complete A plus B whole square has been broken into four regions. Let me show you the first region. This is nothing but a square of side A by A. So what's the area? It's going to be A square. Now if you look into these two regions, these two regions are nothing but rectangle of dimension B by A, B by A. So what would be the area? It's going to be AB and AB. What about this? It's going to be a square of dimension B by B. So what's the area? It's going to be B square. So definitely I can say that A plus B whole square is nothing but A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now with our knowledge of elementary algebra, you can say that A minus B can easily be written as A plus minus B. What does it imply? I'm just going to remove wherever I see B, B and B square and I'm going to replace it or plug minus B in place of B. So what I am going to do, I'm going to replace B with minus B in the identity that is A plus B whole square equals to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So when I substitute or plug minus B in place of B, it would look something like A plus minus B whole square equals A square plus 2A into minus B plus minus B whole square. Now, when you open this bracket, it would become A minus B whole square. So in the left hand side, you will get A minus B whole square. A square will remain unaltered and 2A into minus B. With the knowledge of elementary arithmetic, you know when a positive number is multiplied with a negative number, the product is eventually negative. So plus 2A into minus B would become minus 2AB plus minus B whole square. And you know when a negative number is squared, the product is positive. So eventually it would become plus B square. So what you can say that A minus B whole square is A square minus 2AB plus B square. So we had these two methods. First one was totally visualization of A minus B whole square. And then the second method, we visualized A plus B whole square first and then we used elementary algebra to transport or plug minus B in place of plus B.